G'day guys, this episode we're just waking up from another night camping on the 350,000 acre Murchison station and we're about to get into another day exploring the property by full wheel drive. Enjoy. Morning mate. Morning. You doing brekkie for the lads? Oh yeah. So what have we got? Bacon, eggs, hash, sausages. Yeah. Beautiful. And I think Duffy's got black pudding and beans if he's still doing it. Nice. Just Thank like you. Thank you mate. Oh, we're doing a full Aussie breakfast, are we? Uh, I don't think black pudding's uh, too Aussie, but yeah. Nah. Sort of contributing with some black pudding and beans. Nice. Oh so, yeah, it's a little bit different. Not everyone's cup of tea black pudding, but... Oh, I've, I've come to like it, eh? Yeah. I, I, the thought of it disgusted me at bit first. Bit of dried pig's Yeah. Wrong with that. Oh, <laughs> but I have come to like it, because I've... Nah. It's around good, so many view palms. No, they sell it in coals now, so it's quite good. It used to be hard, quite hard to get hold of, but I just got some in coals and yeah, mm. why yeah. not? Give it a go. Mm. You have to cook it, don't you? Should it's cheap? Yeah, it's not too bad at all. It, it's not it's not fantastic, but you know, ticks the box. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Thanks, yeah. brother. Alright. That'd be nice. A few dusty heads this morning, if you haven't noticed. Last night was a little bit later than uh, previous nights. All right, I better feed you. You hungry? Purse, you hungry? Want your breakfast? Yes, Dad. There you go. Well done, mate, that looks wicked. I haven't got a bigger plate. You don't need a bigger plate. <laughs> Trying to cut back. That's what you want, Cass. Oh, look at it. Oh, I've got cucumber again. <laughs> well, that was a nice brekkie. All the boys are pretty much packed up now and we're going to make a plan as to where we're going next. By the way, fishing shirts now available. How good do they look? Do a spin for us, Leon. They make you look musclier. Oh, thanks. No worries, pal. They're on the web store now. Um, it's going to be a pre-order. So just because they cost me quite a bit to keep in stock and there's a lot of different sizes, they're going to go right down from kids' sizes um, right up to big fellas. Uh, there's going to be a women's cut as well. I'm not exactly sure what that entails, but all the sizing and, and options and stuff are on the website. Links down there below, wildtouring.com.au. So I'll give that a run and see how it goes. If it works well, I'll do one every now and then. If it doesn't, this might be a one-off. There might be a limited edition, so we'll see how we go. Anyway, where are we going? Stick the high road or river road, eh? Oh, stick the river road, eh? Yeah. It's nicer. Yeah. So where are we? So we're here at the minute. Which is uh, pronounced it for me. <laughs> Come no. on. Uh, Gersbelaga Pool. Very good. That was very good. That, that was, was pretty good, mate. Uh, anyway, we're here. Yeah. So I think the plan today is we'll stick to the river. It's quite picturesque. Yep. Come down, back to the homestead. Yep. And then we'll maybe stick around the river and hopefully end up by Towns Beach. Yeah. Bit of fishing. I think she was saying, yeah, she said mm. you can walk down and fish there. Yeah, you can't get right. your car right down. And there's a campsite there as well. So. And that Castle, Castle Rock's Rock meant to well. be a nice lookout or something. Yeah, yeah. so there's a couple of, couple of sites we can stay around here. But Did you, I think she said that's the furthest campsite, eh? To the, is it? Yeah. Well, it looks as though there's one there. No, I think that's a point of interest, oh, eh? really? Yeah, I'm ah, sure okay. she said that was the last campsite. Might be on that paper she gave us. Yeah, we'll see anyway. We've got we've got all day, so we'll we'll, we'll do, do a slow think, cruise. Do you think they'll do Uber Eats? <laughs> from Calbara? They might do for me. Just kayak across. Yes, yeah. 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 Actually, we could swim across and get some fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> you first. Um, so it, roughly a 5k grid, isn't it? So yeah. what are you looking at? Sort of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, maybe 30k today. Yeah, it's not all much. Up, which will probably take us a whole day the way things have been going. Yeah, it's been quite nice looking looking at the river. So. Yeah. Well, quite good, so yeah. cool, lads. Let's yeah. do it, eh? All right, yeah.
How's this for a campsite? This is beautiful. A little too early in the day for us, but cracking spot. Anyway, that hill was pretty cool. Some big rock steps there, scraped down a few bits because I didn't take the best line. But I've just asked the boys to hold up for a sec because I'll film them coming down. That was pretty cool. Sketchy, isn't it? A bit of, a bit of you, um, drop off. Yeah, I know. I, I bump and scrape down most of it, mate. Cool, though. Yeah, well done, mate. Good draw. comes Leon and the old GQ shorty. Well done, mate. She's obviously got a bit more clearance, eh? Didn't scrape on anything. Yeah. Hey, how's this for a campsite, man? Rope swing, big wide section of the river. Yeah, beautiful. Gum trees, fire ring right on the riverside. Buddy nice. How far are you away from the other spot? Uh, which spot? The we're homestead? The, yeah, we're, no, we're camping tonight. Yeah. Well, if we go right to the end. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, so we're halfway there. Yeah, 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 15. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you. Serious looking truck. <laughs> Just driven past the homestead now. So we're sort of back where we started at the very beginning of, of this trip. And now we're gonna continue to head downstream towards the coast. And we'll find our last camp down somewhere around the coast tonight. Not too sure where. And I'm gonna cook the boys a bit of a feed up tonight. I'm gonna do them a Thai red chicken curry. Duffy's got uh, some strange, well, I'm assuming it's gonna be strange. He's, he's supplying the drinks or the cocktails or whatever tonight. And if you remember from the Dondra Castro trip, the last of the trip series I did with these fellas a few weeks back, Duffy was the one that brought the cucumber vodka. So yeah, really not too sure what his drink's gonna to be tonight. We'll find out. Anyway, gonna push on for a little bit and we'll try to find somewhere nice to stop for lunch.
Percy is not liking getting whipped by the sand. <laughs> Funny old dog. Oh, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So this is Castle Rock and we're looking over the Murchison River now. Calvary is just up there a little bit. We'll get opposite that in a minute. But yeah, cracking view. Oh, there's goats making their way down the yeah, cliffs. Oh, oh, amazing. Yeah, I think when you get the tinnies, you can pull in down there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was Castle Rock, and it's lived up to its reputation. There's some spectacular views up there. Uh, we're just ducking down the dune now, and we're on our way to uh, Town Beach. So this is the very edge of the or the very corner of the station I guess it looks like that tide has come up as high as here man yeah. This swells nuts. Come on. Can I have a fish? Yeah, why not? Well, after a bit of lunch on the beach and a very half assed attempt at fishing, we decided it was time to punch back inland along the river to find a camp, and we found an absolute cracker. Drinks. Duffy's yeah. on the drinks. You'll remember last time he he blessed us all or surprised us all with um, cucumber vodka, which was disgusting. Unfortunately, Dan Murphy's has sold out of cucumber vodka now, so yeah. I've had to bring something else. What do we got? What? They stopped making it. They never sold out. They stopped making it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just flying off the shelves. This you, one. You this one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You want us to deliver it to you? Yeah. All right. Well, it's it's called a golden shower. This one. <laughs> so, so you're getting a golden shower tonight, boys. I'm afraid. Can't wait. Yeah. This is G-rated. Do you yeah, need ice great. or not? No, nah, no ice. All right. So all we've got is um, Summersby apple cider. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it in. Cam, you might have to interpret as he's talking. Oh, I'm going to put subtitles in so people can understand him. You don't need subtitles. I do. It's drink. Need to bring his cup or something? No, nah, he's got cups for us. I've got loads of soda. I've never tasted this by the way either. So. And what's what's this? This is apple, like a liqueur type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, it smells good though. Feels good. Mm. Oh, it smells like um, yeah. strong apple juice. Get in here, bear. Okay. Big bear. So it's a, it's a bit like a Jaeger bomb, you just drop it in and then it's got it. Right. Like I said, I've never tasted it. Bloody confidence. So, we'll see. Okay, dog. There you go. So what do you do? Just put it in. Like just drop bomb. it in like a Jaeger bomb. Oh, oh. drop it in. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, brother. Enjoy your golden showers, everyone. Yeah, golden shower all around. Drop it in. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's actually really good. That's nice. Actually, yeah, it's pleasant. Not bad. It's actually good. good again. Yeah. That's Cheers, stuff. We'll go again yeah, later. Cheers. Yeah, sounds good. Well done. Pleasantly good. Should we keep these? Yeah. That's my one. Oh, Is that a pen? Um, stick. No. Stick it here in the corner. There's yours. They are. Oh, still got one. No. Great. Cool, man. Drink responsible. Yeah. What I thought. Are you drink. sipping yours? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to cook these fellas some red Thai chicken curry. Gazzo, you want to come give me a hand? Yeah, mate. Cool. Cheers, bud. There you go. 
got, mate? Cheers, man. Um, can you cut, uh, peel that? Peel it? Yeah, and then cut them into like sort of one centimeter cubes. Hold on, I need a beer for this, mate. I'll get you a beer. I need a beer. You want me to peel it first? Pale ale, all right? Yeah. Good. Top quality, that one. Yeah, I wash my hands, mate. Here, brother. Done. Thanks very much, mate. No worries. Cheers. Thanks very much, Phil. Cheers. Cheers, mate. boys. Cheers, Cheers, lads. Good. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Good trip. Right, I. I'll get some rice on shortly too, but I'll get this started first. Oh, I've got to turn the gas on. Dead giveaway. It helps, mate. It helps. It does. How's this work? Like that. So for I always use these um, for green Thai and red Thai chicken curries. These little these uh, little red tins or the little green tins from Woolies in the Asian section. I think the brand's pronounced Mazari. Do you use them as well? Yeah, I've got my home. Yeah, they're, they're really good. They're yeah. pretty close to like you can a. Put me onto that. Yeah, yeah no, pretty I mean, close to like an authentic sort of flavour. Yeah, you can't get better than that. No. Nah. So I'm going to bang the whole tin in because I'm cooking for four hungry lads. But it is quite strong and it is quite hot, so don't go too crazy. They do like a green, yeah, a mus yellow. Masaman. Yeah, they do all different types. Really good. I'm gonna go two tablespoons of garlic paste, two tablespoons of ginger paste, and one tablespoon of lemongrass paste. So 600 mils of stock. That can start going in if you want. Yeah, there you are. They're perfect, mate. You, you, start, you want me to start putting them in? Yeah, you grab them. These will take the longest to cook out of everything, so sort of get them in at the start. So I actually brought the rice cooker from home, just a cheap Kmart unit. It's a few years old, and I don't know how it's handle all the corrugations and bumps and shit but we'll find out they're definitely not um, suited for the sort of traveling we've been doing let that simmer away got a double g in my foot right now oh they bad here it's so bad here double g's the killers You want it the French way or the Aussie way? French way, oh. let's see it. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Give us some of that. Very good. Love it. Right, that's been simmering for a while. I'm gonna add the coconut cream, two tins. By this stage, the um, sweet potato has softened right up. It's basically cooked through. I'm gonna add six or so kaffir lime leaves. I've got some fish sauce here. About a tablespoon or so, I think. And some sugar. Again, about a tablespoon. So that's your sweetness and your saltiness. Get this back on the boil. And once it's simmering, I'm gonna add that chicken. If you need to thicken it up, like people add flour and stuff like that, I would just mash the um, some of that sweet potato to thicken it up. And I think that rice is just cooked as well now. I've got like a kilo of chicken here, maybe a little bit more, 1.3 kilo. And so I'm gonna kind of poach it in this hot liquid. There we go. I did forget to defrost this, so it was defrosting by the side of the fire. <laughs> Oops. So that'll take, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or whatever to cook through. And then I think we're gonna eat. Man, I remember why I hate cooking on gas. <laughs> <laughs> the wind was just smashing. It does, it does, doesn't it? Of course. 
Thank and you. then there's coriander, oh, fried yeah. shallots, mm. and peanuts. So the peanuts have the salt, so I wouldn't bother adding oh, salt. Come around this way, guys. Yep. Did you, maybe next time you should crush them? I did crush them. That was Gary's oh. job. Oh, oh Gary. Very much, Leon. What are these? Shallots. shallots. Oh. That's sort of good. Thank Don't you. have too many. No worries. You'll have shallots. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom boom. That's a dad joke. I know. That oh, looks pretty good, man. Yeah. Oh, spot on. All right. Yeah, yeah. All good. Good. Righto, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, that was the Murchison Station. What did you guys reckon? Did you enjoy it? Great Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful country. I think Beautiful. it's. I, I think it's probably one of the best places in Australia. It's so remote and. Yeah, we're talking about so, that. Size of Singapore. Two hundred forty thousand yeah. acres. Yeah. And they basically give you the keys to explore wherever you want. And we saw what emus, goats, oh the wildlife's amazing, cows, wildlife. kangaroos, yeah. wildlife was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. wallabies. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool. And yeah. I think the good National thing Park. is we, mm. we changed our minds on a couple of plans, and it, it hasn't disappointed, has it? No, there's heaps of campsites. Uh, so yeah, we, beautiful campsites. Yeah. So I think there was only seven seven other cars on this property, yeah. and today is the first time in four days that we've seen another car as we've That's been right. driving around. So yeah, well, pretty cool. Heaps yeah. of space. So uh, I think. The next time we haven't really got a trip planned all together. No, but we'll, uh, we'll, not till November. That uh, one. Yeah, but we'll suss something else before then. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the next time you'll see me will be in Francis Perra National Park with Pete from WA Camping Adventures. That should be a good one. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Cheers, boys, for a great trip. Cheers, yeah, oh, thank good. you. Yeah, and uh, cheers. we'll do it again soon. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very cool. much. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. cheers.